Hello guys and welcome back. I am back here with another Emily in Paris video in honour of season two being released on Netflix. Today I'm going to show you two super iconic looks from this season. This is one of them and the other one is a little bit different. Keep watching. I'm going to dive in straight away with look number one. This here is my inspo picture and as you can see Emily's wearing this kind of dress with the big sleeves. Her hair is in a almost 60s style ponytail, nice big beehive and then she has on it this white hairband. So I don't actually have a white hairband. What we have done here is so we've got one of these hooks that you use to hold your curtains up and we're going to make it into a white hairband and you can do the exact same with anything you find lying around your house. So let's get straight into look number one. I'm going to add some extra volume just to the ends of my hair. As you can see, my natural ends are very thin. Therefore, I'm going to be using my 16 inch extensions. I wear the color dark brown and I'm just going to put in a three clip weft and a four clip weft near the bottom for that. There we go, that's better. We now have some volume, thank gosh. We're now gonna focus on the beehive kind of part of the hair. She has these front bits that are underneath the hairband, so I'm not gonna brush anything back. I'll leave these at the front and then I'm gonna just start by pulling the rest of my hair backwards so I know where the beehive is gonna be. There we go. Leave these bits forward and then just start back combing. So I'm going to start from here and just work all the way around my head till I get to the other side. I'm using my tail comb. This is perfect for getting volume at the roots and that is exactly what we need right now. And this will look super crazy until we smooth it over. But again, as always, trust the process. I feel like I've just been electrocuted. <laughs> now I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to smooth over the top here. The back combing has already done its work. As you can see, we now have volume. Yes. And you can keep back combing as much as you want. If you want it to be bigger, go ahead. Back comb, back comb, back comb. This here is fine for me for now. Once you have teased and smoothed it over, we're now going to create our beehive. So just take half of your hair as if you're doing a half updo and then bring it together at the back, twist it, and then we're just going to boomf it up. So regular and boomf, boom. You see, see what we're doing here? Okay, once you've put it in position to where whatever height you want, hers is really big. I don't know, I really like it that big but find what when, <laughs> hang on, let me just say that sentence again. Decide what height you would like yours at and then just go from there and secure it in place with some Kirby grips. So this is the height I'm going for and now I'm just securing that in place with some Kirby grips. At the end here, you can just fill up any little bits that you feel need to be evened out. And there we go, there we have our beehive. Now we're going to create our ponytail. Super easy, it's just a low ponytail. I'm going to be using a regular medium elastic. Grab all my hair at the back here. These parts will fall down, but that is fine. I'm going to secure them at the very end anyway and just tie in the ponytail. And now just fix any bits that have flopped <laughs> during your time. But now I'm gonna put on the hairband. This is what makes the look the look. So just pop it on here. And I'm just gonna tie this underneath my ponytail. tucking these little bits up. And 
Now we're going to put these bits underneath. She doesn't have these front parts, so I'm just going to tuck them under and curvy bit in place. And there we have look number one completed. All the bits are back. I've got my beehive and I've got my hairband in. Is this a look that I would personally wear every day? Probably not, but Emily's a little bit weird and that's why we like her because of her very out there fashion sense. Let's get ready and move on to look number two. And now for look number two. So for this look, I'm going to be recreating Emily's signature waves. If you've watched season two, you will see that Emily wears these waves throughout the entire season. It is her go-to look and she wears it with lots of different outfits. I've just put on this blazer. It's giving me a very Savoir office vibe. So let's jump right into it. I'm going to be putting on my 16 inch hair extensions to keep it short and let's go. You can see for this look here, Emily wears a middle parting. So I'm going to start off by making sure that my parting is right there in the middle. And then I'm going to curl my own hair and pop my extensions in when I'm finished with that. I'm going to take my medium barrel here and I'm just going to start from the back and curl my hair out of the way. I'll be taking quite big sections, maybe about that size. The leaves are turning brown. Now I'm still looking for you. I reckon she is going for the tighter curl and letting them drop out for the days. Now I'm still searching for you. And I like to hold the curl in my hand just to let it cool a little bit. It's pretty burning, so just be careful. Okay, next side. And now I'm just going to give my hair a little brush through with this white tooth comb. pre-curled my extensions just to make this process a bit easier. So I'm going to go ahead right now and put in my 16 inches. I clip my 16 inches in the exact same way as I would my 20 inches. I just pop them in a little bit lower as my hair is already quite long and the lower they are the more level they are at the bottom. You can put in the full set. I however I'm just going to go for a three clip, four clip, Three clip and then my two two clips on each side. There we go, the extensions are in. Right, let's give this a brush through now. Looking crazy at the moment. If you're feeling like you need to define your waves a little bit more, that is not a problem. We can just grab our barrel now and add some more. I've finished doing my curls now and I'm going to take my white tooth comb and I'm going to go ahead and smooth them out very gently. We do not want them to lose too much of their shape but we also do not want them to look like ringlets. As this is a very soft look. I just finished brushing the curls out and I've noticed that my hair is a little bit frizzy so I'm going to take some frizzies and just stick some of that on to make it nice and smooth like Emily's. And there we go, that is the final look. And there we have it, two completely different looks. Let me know what one you guys prefer in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Au revoir. Falling down, now I'm still searching for you.